All right, guys, so this Godox V1 for Canon. I used to do some on-camera flash stuff back in the day because it's like this fun, like, editorial slash lifestyle badass type look. I haven't done in a while until I got the Fujifilm X100V, and the on-camera flash on that's perfect for, like, a whole run around, have fun, give me some, like, rocker devil horn thing. After Fujifilm sent me that camera out, I was like, I kind of want to try it on the Canon now. All right, guys, a few things covered before I continue with the rest of the video. One, I'm going to do another giveaway, and then I'm just going to break down what we're going over in the video because it's kind of sporadic a little bit. So in this video, I'm just going to be breaking down how I use this for like that on-camera retro flash look. And then after that, I'll just take you guys uh, behind the scenes on the photo shoot, and I'll put photos as I'm directing her and everything. So uh, for the giveaway, I'm giving away this Godox TT350 for Fujifilm. You can use this on regular cameras, but this will work in TTL on Fuji camera. So again, just like a little small giveaway, but, and all you have to do is just comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll just have a randomizer choose a comment, and that's all it takes. Now with all that said, uh, enjoy. So what's cool about this flash is it pretty much syncs up perfectly with the Canon. You go into ETTL mode, and you could pretty much just set your exposure, and it will handle the rest for you. Now the trick to getting that whole look is shooting from like mostly 24 to 35 millimeter. That's how you get like that fun, retro look. As you can see, you could do it in manual mode, but if you're doing this on-camera flash mode, you pretty much stick it to ETTL. I did negative one. Uh, that's basically like exposure compensation for the flash itself, which actually communicates with the Canon. So right now I'm at 16 millimeters. It's saying 20 millimeters because that's the widest that the flash could zoom out. But once I go to 35 millimeters, it changes by itself. So the flash is zooming in to give you accurate coverage of what focal length you're at, which is pretty cool. You do have high speed sync and you have rear curtain shutter, which some flashes don't do that. So in order to do your exposure compensation, you just click right here and then you can turn up and down and uh, you really won't know until you start uh, shooting if it's overexposed or not. So one little trick that you wanna do for that look is you want the background to be a tiny bit underexposed. If it's too even, Say if you, you can meter it, if you meter for the background and you mash your, your flash to be that, it's gonna look too flat. So the trick is to underexpose the background so the subject's a little bit brighter. Then in post, you want to almost make it look like it's blown out. Yeah, that's perfect. Hold that, everyone gets mad. All right, guys, real quick. I just want to show you guys a couple ways that you can edit these type of photos with direct flash. You can either go for a super like retro, grainy, soft look with faded blacks, or you go for a cleaner look. Put the jacket off the right shoulder. Right, right. <laughs> no. <laughs> typical model. Give me lots of attitude. Yeah, there you go. Lean back on it. Go lower. Okay. Right here, chin down. Yeah. Sick. Isn't that cool? Sit up here. Let the left shoulder off. Yeah, there it is. Both shoulders actually. Get into it more. Yeah, there it is. I want like, uh, kind of, think of uh, Harley Quinn. Is that her name? You know who that is? Yeah, yeah, do that. Yep. Do your hands through both hair. Tie your jacket around your hip. Yeah, and both hands like play through hair like, like you just did. Yeah. <laughs> lean back, like elbows back. Kind of like lean this way a little bit. So we could do more like lifestyle kind of stuff, like you're doing faces and shit, okay? So like you can kind of like play the camera like this. And... Yeah, 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 just have fun with it, yeah. Like you could grab it and everything, go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Play, play, spin, have fun, dance. Dance, dance, spin. <laughs> spin. Give me like a uh, kind of, Okay, put your glasses down. So give me like a spin with both hands, like play, whip your hair around and shit. Go ahead. Yep. Whip it, whip it, whip. Come on. Yeah, yeah, it's sick. Yeah, yeah, chin up. Hang on, no, no, no. Don't, Cause you're doing like a weird thing. Focus on what your body's doing naturally. Yeah, yeah. 
Is that too tall for you to put both your elbows up? Yeah. With your right hand, do the hair again. Make it messy. It needs to look more real. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Now both hands mess with the hair. Like, put it up and like let it go in your face and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there it is. But lean out even more. And then let your elbow fall like this. Go ahead. But lean into it more. Like almost, almost like a like a perfect diagonal line. I think it might be your other leg. Try your other leg. Go out further. Yeah, all that, yeah. <laughs> now push out. Put your knee back in like you did. Yeah, yeah. Get into it more. Put it back out. And then in. Yeah, there it is. I just want to cover the lighting real quick in case anyone's interested. So behind me, I have the Nanlite mix panel. And I have an RGB mode and it's at like 20% just bouncing into the ceiling. That's creating all this beautiful ambient blue, kind of like a room tone kind of vibe. And then up above that is the Nanlite 60 with the projector mount on it. And I have it dialed in just to the back of my head. And then I just have like a LED uh, pad thing right above me. And then if I turn down the slide, you see we just get a cool little ambient fill. And uh, yeah, pretty cool little cinematic YouTube lighting, I guess. Cinematic. Anyways, that's it. Peace.